Hi there guys, just a quick video today on using JSON inside of the terminal, more specifically inside of Vim. So historically for myself, whenever I've come across JSON inside the terminal, I've always had to copy and paste it out to something like Sublime or VS Code in order to format it in a way that I can look at it and understand it and deal with it as actual JSON. However, I stumbled across this recently and wanna show it to you. This uses a tool called JQ, literally, JQ, um, and JQ is a JSON parser for the terminal. So what I can do is I can echo some um, some JSON, and I'm just gonna write some really rubbish JSON here, um, and I can pipe that into JQ and dot. The space dot means prettify it, prettify this into actual readable JSON. So I do that, and it does, it prettifies that JSON for me. And we can take that power, we can take JQ and use it actually inside of Vim. So. I have this file called test.json. Let's open test.json. Test.json has a bunch of JSON in, but it is horrible JSON. It is not formatted, it is not prettified. However, I can do this very simple sequence of commands. Escape mode to go into normal mode. Colon to go into command mode. Dot followed by bang. The dot itself means take the output of whatever I'm doing and put it back into Vim. That's really important. Otherwise the output would just be thrown away outside of him. And the bang means, hey, I'm gonna do some sort of script command, I'm gonna do some sort of bash command, some sort of terminal command. Okay, so dot bang, jq, the command, space dot, like we saw before, jq, space dot. And again, that space dot just means, is it, the, the space dot is jq syntax for prettify this JSON. We hit enter, and as you can see, it has prettified it into readable JSON. So my Vim setup, I have uh, spaces and new lines um, visible. Um, I've just got rid of that. And now you can see it's actual proper JSON. If I go through it, you can see it's formatted it beautifully. And that's it. And JQ can be installed with uh, whatever package manager you're using for your distribution. For me, I'm on Mac, so it's brew install JQ. Um, and that's, that's it, really simple. JQ has some really great documentation and even a tutorial on its um, owner's GitHub page. So that's Stedalon, I think it is, or Stedalan. Um, so check those out, link in the description down below. And that has been the really quick tip, actually looking at JSON inside of Vim using a tool called JQ. Hopefully this helps you a lot, and know, I know it helps me, uh, and obviously it means that I can actually use JSON inside of the terminal without having to move out of the terminal to look at it and understand it. Thanks for watching, see you next time.